Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a possible way to enable RCS messages in the stock Samsung messages application on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. Now, first, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 here, just a random phone I selected. And here's a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This one has the RCS enabled, this one does not. So, first, let me show you what it looks like. So, I'm going to go to my messages, okay? I'm going to tap on my settings over here and go into the settings. And on the top, you can see the advanced messaging features. If I tap it one more time, you have the RCS enabled and all the corresponding features, as you can see. Now, when I go to this phone over here, this one is the one that does, does not have it enabled. I go to my settings and we don't have anything else other than the standard features for Samsung smartphones. So using this phone, I'm going to show you how to get the advanced messaging features on the stock messages application. Let's dive in and get started right away. Now, real quick, as you know, RCS enables features like typing bubbles and red receipts when you're typing with other people. Now, the very first step you want to take is you want to go to my website. You want to click the link down below. It's going to take you to this web page right here, and you want to grab the Google phone dialer. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, okay? Here's the link right here under download. You click on it. It takes you to the Play Store and you install the official Google phone dialer. This is made by Google, so it's 100% safe. Now, once you have installed it, you're going to click open. And when you open it for the very first time, it's going to ask you to set it as your default dialer. So you tap on set as default. You're going to get this pop up right here. Switch from that green icon to the blue icon. That's the Google phone dialer. You tap on this one and then you can say set as default and then you'll be dumped into your phone dialer. So the first step you want to do here is you want to go to the actual dialer, okay? And this is what you want to type in. You want to type in star pound star pound four six seven pound star pound star. When you do that, you're going to get this magical little menu that says IMS settings. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the IMS service switch. You tap on this one and then you enable the RCS switch. You enable this and then you scroll down under the RCS option. You want to enable all these RCS options, okay, all the way till down. So enable the RCS switch and then go down under RCS, enable all these options. Then go back out and go into RCS configuration right here and make sure these two options are set to always connect. You tap on this one, make sure it is set to always connect. Now what you want to do is just go home and then go into your settings right over here and then scroll down and go to your apps. All right, go to your apps and then search or look for messages. You can look manually or you can search for messages. Let me type in messages right here. That's the stock messages application for Samsung. You tap on it, all right? First thing you wanna do is you wanna tap on four stop. So four stop it, and then go into the storage right here and clear the cache, okay? So the cache is now cleared. Now you can go back out and you can tap on your messages. What you are gonna see is if you go to your settings now, you are going to see the advanced messaging options. Again, just go to the stock application, go back into the settings, all right, and you tap on the advanced messaging right here, and here's the options. Now, some phones, I've noticed, give you more options. Some phones give you less options. Now, this one is allowing me to do the advanced messaging option here, and also the share red status option enabled here. This one has a few extra options, as you can see right over here. That's going to be based on which phone you have, which carrier you have. Now, there's no guarantee this is going to work, but it's a possible way to force the settings into your applications. You can try with a friend and let me know if it is working for you. I have not tested this feature out fully, but once I do, I will let you guys know if it's working or not properly. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out to Procope, whose name I just probably butchered, but he's the one who let me know all about it. So huge shout out to my Twitter follower. 
And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. See if you can get this enabled and if you get some cool features with the advanced messaging RCS ability. All right. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.